Birthday Thursday! Birthday! Halupe Kale, October 21st. Nina Stebbins, October 16th, 82 years old. Well done, oh Nina. Oh my gosh. Sharuk, 28th, brother's birthday was October 5th. Wow. Armando Roman, October 30th. Ricky turned five on October 14th. Happy birthday, Ricky. Happy birthday, everyone. We'll be right back. Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. I'm Pastor Jason. I'm Pastor Scott. And we're going to read your hand plan we for do. today. We do. we got a scripture for your day. Mm -hmm. we got some encouragement for your day. And we're going to pray over the day. That's right. And if you're a new subscriber, type in where you're from. We read that on Wednesday mornings. We do. And we're going to be in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 today. And just an epic uh, 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 teaching. And I wanted to play a clip for them. Okay. Uh, right now, throw that clip up for us. Remember, God said to Moses, this is holy ground. Take off your shoes. That holy ground represents the oil of God, the anointing of the Lord. He took off his shoes, his past, who he used to be. And the Bible says in Deuteronomy that anything that touches that which is holy becomes holy. Holy is set apart for God's plans and purposes. Here's my dreams, my ambitions, my failures, my defeats, everything that I am, the collective sum of all that the world and myself have created me to be, and I'm throwing it down onto holy ground. And what I'm saying is, is I know that God has anointed me, but now I'm choosing to anoint myself. There it is. You run around. You did a lap. Because well, I'm choosing to anoint myself is a very strong statement. What do you mean you're choosing to anoint yourself? Because if man doesn't believe he's anointed, then nothing will come of it. That's my favorite right there. God chose you, but at one point you're going to accept that he chose you. At what point are you going to throw down everything into the oil of the Lord and let it be immersed in his calling and his choosing of you and choose to die to everything you were holding so tightly to? Nah, I just absolutely love that because you, you, you know it yourself uh, basically means I believe that God has given me what I need. If I don't anoint myself, I won't, Moses wouldn't go forth to Egypt. Right. Yeah. Uh, man has to anoint what God has anointed. Otherwise, right. it, it doesn't matter. And that, that might sound uh, like crazy. But, you know, God anointed David to be king. But if you go and read it, then... Then he wasn't king, though, until man anointed him king. Right. So, so the physical world has to do with the spiritual world has already right. done. The spiritual world has already anointed us, but we have to uh, we have to accept, and it's not arrogance to accept that God chose me. It's not arrogance to to accept the idea that God has called me to great things. Right. That's and, not arrogant. And when you accept it, now I can go forth in it. Until you accept it. You're just like, you're, you're, you're watching sheep in the wilderness going nowhere. That's right. You're just not going anywhere. So our scripture today is 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone, say anyone, you're anyone, anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Yes. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You said that with the shoes. He takes off his shoes, which signifies I got to leave the past where it is. The old man yeah. is dead. Now yeah. I got to get into the new man, the new things. We have to get into this removing the labels. See, your labels are holding you back. Yeah. What the world has labeled you, you're not smart. You're not gifted. Mm -hmm. you're, you know, you're, you're, you're going to have to work with your back because your mind isn't that strong, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you come from a divorced family. You've got, you know, your mama had heart problems. Your daddy had heart problems. You're going to have heart problems. So we carry all of these labels around. And that's what I believe the scripture is saying to us. Mm -hmm. These labels are not who I am. Mm -hmm. I'm who God says I am. I'm new. That stuff passed away. And we, we want to create vacancy in our lives because we do have two selves, right? We need to create vacancy so that we're left with just the one. And so when, when he throws down the staff, it's, he's creating vacancy because he's allowing this to die unless a man lose his life. Less. He cannot save it or he right. cannot find it. So there's a first step letting go of who I used to be. That creates vacancy with, well, what am I left with? Well, I'm left with Christ in me. Right. Does that make sense? And so I am created in Christ. Now the word Christ here, right? We right. know Christ is, it's Christos. It means uh, anointed one. Wow. Anointed one. You're anointed, which means you're set apart for God's plans and purposes. And so we've got to take on, we can't take on who we really are until we learn how to let go of who we used to be. Oh. And that's, that's that throwing the, the old dead man into the oil of the anointing. And then you think, oh, I'm letting go of all this. And what am I going to do now? And, and, uh, and, but then God gives it back. And so, you know, Jesus does this for us. He models this. Right. When he goes to John the Baptist and he says, uh, 
I want to be baptized. And John the Baptist goes, well, I can't baptize you, man. I can't even put your shoes on. Yeah, yeah. But you need to baptize me. And Jesus goes, no, no, this has to be done to fulfill all righteousness. And that's what Jesus was doing, was fulfilling righteousness. So he submits to the authority that God had placed on the earth at that time, which would have been John the Baptist. And he's immersed in the Jordan River, right. which is a picture of that death and burial. And then he comes up anew. And then he comes up new, and immediately the voice is heard from heaven right. to give him his identity. You were the son of Joseph up till this moment, right. but let me tell you who you really are. You are my beloved son, whom I love, with him I am well pleased. As long as you hold on to that old, right, that old man you're dragging around with you, mm-hmm. which is dead, mm-hmm. then it affects literally where you're going in this life. Peyton was so cute because he, he uh, when he got his driver's license, he's like, well, why does it say under 21 in there? Why? Obviously, I'm under 21. Like, he's so cute. <laughs> why, why, why do they need to point that out? Yeah, like, he's like, ah. He's like, Thanks, and also guys. put on there, I'm, I'm short. You know what I'm saying? You put a lot of stuff in there. That, <laughs> I'm short. Accurate. I'm so glad it didn't do that to me. So uh, I said, well, and then once you become 21, you get a new license. So there's a label that you get on your driver's license that limits where you where you, you can go. But as soon what as... What is you, the limit? Limit. You can't go into certain places because you're under 21. Like where? What Anywhere. kind of places? I don't know. You can't Hopefully. drink, huh? You can't drink. But yeah. of course, I'm glad for that. But my point is this. Then you become 21. The label is removed. And now I can go anywhere. I know I'm not saying the right places. But the same thing for you and I. We have a. We get born and it says, hey, you're not smart enough. You're, you're, not, you're too short or you're too tall. Mm-hmm. You're, you're too this. You're too that. You have, and so we have all these labels that come on our own. Old license that yeah. limits where we can go into. You get saved. Now I get a new license. Did you know you can still carry the old license though? Yeah, you could. Yeah, you can still carry the and old people one could around. People say like, "Show me your ID," and you're like, "Well, here and it is." And they're like, "Well, you're under 21." But you're not. But like, not. look at the birth date. But look at the, and we used to. I don't know. We had fake IDs. Well, everybody mine, did in the mine 80s. Was the, I used it to vote, and so <laughs> you could get a fake ID from anyone back. You could in those do the days. parking swap, yeah. and they would get it. And then you'd always make funny names. I'd always do it like Anita something. Anita Chalupa. <laughs> Anita Chalupa. <laughs> and you put a Which funny I name. I don't know what a Chalupa was, and they're bringing me one in a couple days. I'm right? so excited. Next week I go yeah, Chalupa. Next week we're gonna go yeah. Chalupa. Yeah, I'm excited. And so the point is, this is holding on. On to the old man limits what you can experience with the new man. And you said yeah. that. Jesus could have not been baptized. Yeah. And, he, and you know, he was a carpenter up until that moment. But oh. right after he goes through his transformation, right? He, model, he models it for us. He's Jesus, okay? Right. So I know he didn't have to. He's modeling for right. us, okay? He's giving he us a picture. Have, he didn't have to die to his old man. <laughs> right. He was a new man. He was already, right? Just he hadn't done anything wrong. But he models for us how it's done. He's like, okay, we got a death, burial, and resurrection with the old guy, right? Let it go. So many people in religion. Can I just say this? In religion, we're taught that you get born again, but you're a mess still. Yeah. Just because you got you born again do. doesn't mean you're not a mess. And so then now we need to clean up this mess. With that rules. You are. So we have to start, you have to start slowly peeling back the layers and you have to you know, dress them. You got to put some perfume on them because he smells. Yeah. What, you, what you have is you have a dead, rotting carcass so you're trying to that make you're dragging good. around and you're doing your best to try and make it look nice. But it's dead. You should do a series called so, Weekends at Bernie's. So, I should. So, God, so God's telling us, he's like, can you just let the dead guy go? Just give him to me. Just throw him on the ground at my feet. And I'm going to give you back everything that you feel like you're letting go. Right. The wrong relationships, your, your ambitions, your dream, the things you're trying so hard to accomplish on your own. All the things that man has said about you, all your defeats, the regrets you drag with you, the, the shame you drag with you, the, the defeats you drag with you, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And the ugly. And he said, can you just throw it all at my feet? And here it's going to get it's gonna get hooked up in the anointing, and I'm going to give you back your entire life, but it's going to be new. Supernatural now. Supernatural new. Supernatural. You began to do the Moses stuff. The, the supernatural. Moses couldn't do those things. Yeah. Couldn't do that before he put it in God's hands. Yeah, yeah, he, he wasn't walking around parting seas until. <laughs> That'd have been awesome if he was. <laughs> yeah, no, he wasn't. He was just. He's at the dinner cheap. table. And it was his, normal. Yeah, his father-in-law's like, "Stop parting my drink." He's like, "No, it's pretty cool. Watch this. I can do it with a fork. It's, it's, it's crazy." <laughs> he's like, I just, "Oh, Bruce Almighty, that reminds me of the, he parts his tomato soup." Oh my God! My favorite part of Bruce Almighty, where he's all, all right, guess how many fingers I have? And then Jesus, or the guy goes six, and he goes ah, and they had six fingers. <laughs> it's 
God <laughs> cannot lie. He gave him a six finger. <laughs> he screamed. <laughs> ah, almighty Smiter. <laughs> Such a funny movie. Let's pray over the day. Huh? Dear Father, Lord, we thank you and praise you, Lord, that... Uh, the old man is dead, mm -hmm. and we're going to go with the new man, that, Lord, that we're going to put it in your hands. My life is your life. It's not my life anymore. It's your life. And I know that when I put it in your hands, I began to walk supernaturally through my day, my week, and my year, Lord. And so we thank you and praise you that we go through. We just anoint. We just anoint and realize, just the realizing that I have been gifted. I have been talented, that I have been built for this season. I may be missing a little, but you are the strength in my weakness. You become whatever is not right in my life. And so my past doesn't limit me. My, my, uh, my failures, my insecurities, those things are not who I am. It's who I was. Now I am strong. I'm confident. I'm blessed. I'm prosperous. I'm smart. I'm, I'm dang hot. I'm good looking. I'm great <laughs> at anything that's in front of me. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Amen. Well, don't forget to watch the the clip. So we do the little clip now. We're trying this new yeah, thing. Yeah, we, we showed the clip earlier in the show, right? And so now, let us know if you like the new format. And also, you can watch the rest. It's right there in our uh, subscription. You watch the rest of the sermon, and I you have to watch it. You it's that watch. good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, and be where? Be in church this weekend. That's the equipping center. We need to be equipped for every good work. What if, what if you live in Mesa? That's a, there's a great church in Mesa. Really? Well, yeah. Gil Gilbert. Actually, there's several great churches there in Mesa. Great, there's a lot of great churches in yeah. Mesa. It literally is. No, we like, have I, a lot I was of. telling, um, I was talking to somebody at Canada, yeah. and they're like, you know, churches, I'm like, no. Like, you can get on our domes, and you can look around, and you can literally see within about three miles five incredible churches. Great churches. Just incredible churches. Yeah, and so we're not like one of these churches that you have to go to our church. It's, we just want you to go to a church. Go to any church. Yeah. Yeah, but plant there. Like, except, you know, for, except for bills. Can I just say, it's not, uh, you know, it's good, it's fine to go and, and check out other, you know, sure. uh, hear a guest speaker here, kind of whatever, but you have to have a church that's your family, right? right? Plants. Your home. You gotta plant. Because we cannot conceive the things of God without the covenant of family. Right. And so it's in that covenant of family that you, you get close to people. You know, this is my family. And I, I, I equate it to like I have my wife, right? I'm married. Right. And now we can conceive together, right? Because we're ah. married, there's covenant. Now, there's other great God-fearing women. Just because my wife loves God doesn't mean other women don't love God. Right. But they're not my wife. Right. I have, I have my wife. And I think so often, and I don't mean to equate it to like that, because you're bridging like you're cheating, no, on, like cheating on your church or something. It's not like that. You might go out to eat sometimes, but... You have your church. Right. That's yes. an important thing. You know what's fun Planting. about you? Mm. Is I just have to start talking about church. church. It, it, it's just like starting to... <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Oh my gosh, you're right. So what do you think of church? No, uh, Well, it's... <laughs> <laughs> just taste it. Go. It's, go, 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 the, go hurry. It's the wisdom of God and it's the pillar of truth. <laughs> It was, I started it again. It was his plan that since the beginning of time that, that God's manifold wisdom might be made known we, we were through doing, the church. We were doing a conference. And the some, manifold wisdom of God we might be made, made known end, through the church. And somebody had the question answer time and they asked Jason about the church. I go, we're going to be here for a while now. <laughs> Does somebody really have to go to church? Yes. Go. Just go. Get, go to church. Yes, you do. <laughs> was it really God's plan? Yeah, Jesus died for the church. He added to their number daily <laughs> those who are being saved. He added to the church daily yes. those who are being saved. God's not finished until you're added to a church. He's not finished with you just being saved. He adds you to a church. I can't breathe. Well, I have a great day. They're still I, watching. I will, I will say if I could turn, turn back time. time.